This is your liver, and this is what happens if someone punches you in it. Oh, and there it is! A third time! Getting hit there, even if it's not hard, can put you on your back because the pain is unbearable. Whether it's a punch, a kick, or a knee will likely leave you paralyzed and unable to breathe. And this is not a matter of how big you are, how strong you are, if you've got a great six pack. If you get hit right in the perfect position, it will shut your body down. And I'm gonna give you two methods of being able to take a body shot better, which doesn't include having a great six pack. And also I'm gonna give you two methods of being able to punch and land the perfect liver shot to dismantle anyone. But first, why is the liver so sensitive compared to headshots? Well, actually, both of these can be extremely devastating because they're both vulnerable parts of your body. But these hits are actually different. When you see legends like Oscar De La Hoya, he can take headshots all day long. But when we see a liver shot like this that doesn't look very hard, he's out and he cannot get back on his feet. That was a nice left hand underneath by Oscar. And it seems strange, right? But what happens is when we get hit in the head, we can get kind of disorientated and not know where we are and we don't feel a pain. This is kind of opposite to a liver shot when our minds are clear, but our body is getting completely shut down. Now, if we take a closer look at the liver, we can see exactly what's going on and why this is happening. Firstly, the organ is located on the right side of your body, exactly where you see Hopkins hitting De La Hoya. Good body shot. The liver is the largest and heaviest organ in our entire body. Our liver is used for detoxing. It cuts out the harmful substances that might enter our body. And it's that vital if your liver fails you and you don't get a transplant, you could actually die. Studies show that if a healthy meal took a direct liver shot at only five meters per second, this is actually enough force to cause liver injury. Now, boxers and MMA fighters can easily punch at least 10 meters per second. Here you see the damage of the liver from a six meter per second punch. This can actually rupture your liver. And I used to love this punch when I was fighting. Here you see me in a fight against Matt Haney where he wasn't expecting the punch because I hit him high, which opens up his ribs and his liver and then boom, a blast in that body shot, hitting him perfectly. And you can see the pain in his face from that punch. And this is not just from the extreme pain of the punch landing, there's actually more going on when this punch lands. The punch puts so much pressure on that area where we've got a lot of nerves around our liver, which is linked to our nervous system that can drop blood pressure. And with this happening, our brain wants to put our bodies into a horizontal position as a survival tactic, which is the reason why getting hit perfectly in the liver will put you on your back. And if the liver shot is bad enough, you can also lose consciousness, but I've never seen this happen. Now, before I show you how to take a punch to the body, I'm gonna show you two ways how to land that punch. The first way is the traditional way that coaches teach. My second favorite way, where you're up right here, you're gonna slip inside, especially if they've threw a right hand that's over your shoulder, that's leaving them wide open on the right side of their body in the liver. Then we're gonna blast it in like this. So here it is here, I've slipped, weight on the front leg, boom, firing in that liver shot. Now the reason why I'm not a huge fan of this is because if I'm in there with someone with experience and I slip like this, what's he gonna do? He's gonna put his elbow down and that punch is gonna block it. So what I prefer to do is I'm inside, get up close here, then hit him up nice and light. He's not expecting that punch to come. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw this body shot without having to slip. So I'm here, tapping upstairs. Then from there, this arm's just gonna come down, turn my hips and blast it straight in the liver. And it looks like this. And that right there is enough power to hurt anyone. So how can you take a body shot there? I'm gonna give you two different methods of doing this. But first, I just wanna tell you about the sponsor of today's video. Now, because we're talking about the liver and your body, imagine if there was a supplement that you could take to help you take body shots. Well, there's not. You've gotta keep watching the video to see how to take body shots. But what there is, is this. A supplement to help you improve your NAD levels. NAD is found in every cell in your body, providing us with the energy we need to live good, healthy, and a happy life. As we get older, naturally, 
naturally our NAD levels drop, which is partly why we see older people with less energy. Now this NAD Plus by Renew by Science is what I take daily to improve my NAD levels. And besides the energy boost and benefits of this, studies show that it helps with brain health, DNA repair, sleep improvements, and a lot more. Now a big problem with taking supplements like NAD is they're not absorbed through the body correctly. You've got to do IV treatments for that, which I used to do all of the time, but it's an inconvenience and it's expensive. Renew by Science has a much better delivery method to enhance the absorption of the supplements into the body through liposomal technology, making sure you get every benefit of NAD+. But do your own research on it. Click the link below, go to Renew by Science, use code BOXING for a discount, and if you don't like it, they'll give you all your money back. What are you going to do? You're going to get a partner with their boxing gloves on. You're going to stand with your hands above your head here in your boxing stance. Your partner is then going to throw two straight punches down the middle and then two hooks around the side like this. And while they're punching your body, you're going to keep your core tight. But at the same time, relax and breathe. Because if you're holding your breath, you're going to get tired fast. And also why this is great is you're going to be able to see the punches coming at your body. And as well, if you've never been hit in the body before, this is getting you used to getting punched in the body. Now that being said, if you get hit with a clean body shot and you're not expecting it, like the one I just showed you, you will be done and there's kind of nothing you can do about that. Now the second thing that you can do is really improve your core muscles for boxing. There's some great methods of being able to do this. And I created this video right here, giving you the perfect core workout for boxing so you can take body shots. So click here and watch this video next.